That's uh, Or City and Adam Levine and Locked Away on Downtown Radio. It's just approaching 25 past 10. Now, if you're on social media, if you're on Facebook, here's something that might be of interest to you. How would you feel if a newspaper took your pictures from your Facebook and uh, printed them in the paper. You might say, well, they can't do that unless they have my permission. But once you've published it on Facebook, is it free game? Is it legal? More to the point, maybe, is it ethical? To talk a little bit more about this, I'm joined by... Uh, Yair Cohen. Yair is a partner at Cohen Davis Solicitors, a UK law firm which specialises in internet and social media law. So if anybody knows something about this, this is the man to tell us and to clarify. Yair, you're very, very welcome to Daytime on Downtown. Good morning, Siobhan. Now, first of all, when I, if, if I have a picture on Facebook, let's say I have a picture of you, Yair, on my Facebook page uh, or in my photographs and somebody decides, well, look, I want a photograph of Yair Cohen for this, that or the other for my newspaper. Is it is it legal for them to go into my Facebook page and take the photograph? The simple answer is no, it is not legal. Just because an image uh, appears on social media doesn't make it uh, sort of, you know, a free market for anyone to go and pick it and do whatever they want. Because under normal circumstances, newspapers will have to pay for stock images. So so, so in a way, by, by taking somebody else's images uh, without permission, they are avoiding making that payment. But but beyond, beyond this narrow point, I think that it's been recognized that a person image uh, constitutes one of the chief uh, attributes of his or her personality. Uh, because because a person image uh, reveals a person's characteristics and distinguishes a person from 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 that person's peers, so so there is a right of protection of one's image. Forget all about copyright and who took the image. We, we're going to come to this uh, later on. But but principally speaking, um, the, the, every person has a right uh, to 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 his own or her own image. Uh, now freedom of expression. Uh, includes publication of photos, uh, but uh, <laughs> this is nonetheless uh, an area in which the protection of a right uh, of rights and protection of others uh, need to also uh, take some precedence because photos might contain very personal or even intimate information about an individual or his family, and those rights have already been recognized by the European Court. So we have to distinguish between uh, uh, two, two separate rights. First is the legal right over uh, the image, as, as, as we call it, uh, co- copyright uh, over an image. So the copyright will belong to the person who took the image. So if somebody else has took your image, the copyright will belong to them normally, not to you, even though your image has been captured. Um, and then there is your right over the image that, that was taken by somebody else is the right over the image it, itself, over your face in the image or, 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 or your body or the, the, the complexion. Uh, this, is, this is a separate right that, that uh, is part of, of, of your, your, your right to privacy. It's part of Article 8. It's insensitive as well, isn't it, to go into somebody's personal Facebook page. But then because it's a public platform, because Facebook is a public platform and you in the first instance have have published it on Facebook, mm. then well, is it not out there for everybody well, to? No, no, it is certainly not. And, and in this particular instant, without knowing all the details, um, the newspaper will be liable to pay uh, damages and also uh, royalties in terms of the photographs. And, and this is, we actually did, did, did a case uh, a few weeks ago with the, one of the national newspapers who helped themselves to an image of our clients that they took from LinkedIn. Now, the same argument could, uh, <laughs> could be made that LinkedIn images are, uh, you know, a person put the image in the public domain, but that doesn't necessarily give the newspaper a right to just take it and do, do whatever they want with it. So in that particular instant, the newspaper offer, uh, first they, they remove the image from the, the, the uh, website and also they offer to pay compensations and royalties for past use uh, of that image. 
Yeah, it's 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 very very interesting because you know we just don't know enough about it, do we? You know, I, 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 again, you know, as far as I'm concerned, if I put something up on Facebook, I'm I'm making it public. But then when somebody from somewhere, not one of my friends, comes from nowhere and takes a photograph, then it's pretty offensive, isn't it? And you sort of think, oh well, that's uh, that the, it it it's not nice, but. Is it legal? And, you know, you're saying it's not legal. So not only is it not ethical, it's not legal either. It is clearly not legal to do that. And unfortunately, newspapers do take advantage. And you are absolutely right. The well, public doesn't know uh, enough about this, this subject. And people wrongly believe that once they, they place an image on social media. I mean, social media is, is, is really is a social network. It's, it, uh, it is a small group. Effectively, people choose who they want to be friends with. And they share information among themselves. That doesn't give a right to anybody else to just take the information and use it for their own um, uh, uh, sp- personal or, or commercial purposes. So, so, so it is very, very important that people realize that just because you place an image on the internet, that doesn't give anyone a right, not even to a national newspaper, to make use of these images without asking for uh, for your permission, and paying you royalties for the use of this image. Unfortunately, what newspapers do in terms of, uh, quite often in times of of, of, uh, uh, difficulties for people, when people are quite vulnerable, uh, newspapers unfortunately sometimes count on the fact that no one will make a complaint and they just take those images uh, they shouldn't really be doing that. And, and what if you don't have your, you know, your your settings on your social media set, you know, your privacy settings, you know, if you if you have it public rather than private? It is completely irrelevant. If you imagine, if you imagine a, a website that say sells uh, stock images, stock images are uh, for for anyone who's not familiar with stock images are are, are images that are sort of standard images that uh, a company sell to newspapers or to anyone who wants to use images on the website. So they go and they pay whatever amount of money for the use of of, of that image. Um, so those images are public as well, but people still have to go and pay royalties, or they have to 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 rent uh, the, those images to place them on the website. The um, the privacy setting on your social media is completely irrelevant to whether uh, you give consent for other people to use information, and particularly use of images. And um, th- I also noticed uh, quite quite a lot and quite regularly, I'll see this come up on Facebook that people post a notice to say, please note that you, you know you have no permission to copy or republish or distribute or publish any information contained on my page or whatever or words to those effects. Does that does that make a difference, or they shouldn't need to do that? They shouldn't need to do that. This is simply a reminder because, again, apart from um, of, of stealing one's work, which is an image or a photograph, there are also issues of privacy, a right to private life, rights to family life. Uh, and uh, data data protection rules, where, 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 where the, uh, one's image is considered as data, and if you take one's image and place it on your own website, what you effectively do, you 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 use you 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 effectively processing their data, you proce- you processing one's image. Uh, so there there are lots and lots of implications um, uh, to 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 using other people's images without their permissions that that most people are sadly not not yet aware of yeah it's a fascinating topic but it's also i mean it's 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 a minefield isn't it it is a minefield it is a minefield but all, all we need to remember is first that a person has a right to his own or her own image so to their own face to their own complexion so anything that is an image belongs to them it's just a human right that they have and the second thing we need to remember is that the person has got to write over any image that that person took themselves. So if you use your uh, camera to, to, to take an image, you have the copyright over that image. So those are the two most important uh, rights that, that a person has over images. And nobody has got the right 
to just steal those images from you. Some great advice there. Thanks ever so much You're for joining welcome. us. That's Yair well. Cohen, who's a partner at Cohen Davis Solicitors, a, a, a UK law firm uh, who specialise in internet and social media law. 9181 is the number to call if you want to get in touch with us. Still to come on the show. Uh, what else have we got for you? It's...